Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Lit and this is Fortnite Save the World PvE and what I wanted to do today is have a look at weapon perks and bonuses and just I've got a lot of people asking if weapons are any good when they get them now it's okay having a weapon like this, like the Hydra but then are the rolls on it any good? So without any further ado, let's jump in, review some weapons and hopefully I'll help some of you newer players just see whether your weapon's decent or whether it's worth keeping or leveling up and help you out from there, so let's go Okay, so perks that you want to look for really in this order, for new for newer players, there's a lot of things that affect these, so don't take these as absolute gospel, but if you're looking as a new player and you're looking at a weapon and reviewing it and wondering if it's any good, these are the ones to look out for. So the first ones you want to look out for are damage, energy damage, crit chance, crit damage, if you can get them as a combo that's even better. And then any other sub, sort of like elemental damage, so like fire, nature or water damage is always great. Uh, nice to have are things like causes affliction. If you can get that combined with affliction damage, that would be absolutely fantastic. And also headshot percentage is good. That's if you're a good shot, that's kind of situational. And personally for me, I like I liked knockback on the shotguns just because when I get the shotgun out, it's usually because I'm using um, a soldier or a ninja where my main weapon's the assault weapon and I want the knockback of the shotgun to kind of get things off me. Um, so my kind of gameplay style would require knockback on a shotgun. So let's have a look at some of these weapons and how the stats actually look. Okay then, so we'll start off with the Hydra just because it's one that was on the uh, the opening intro that we did just now. So this one's got crit chance. Do you know, I'm looking at this long term as well. I've not unlocked this yet just because I'm not at that area. This is a level 20 weapon. But overall, the reason I've leveled this up is I've got crit chance and crit damage as you can see on there. So they're two key stats that we said early on that are going to be important. They, they stack well together. So it's got a 14% crit chance. Or although that's not massively high, it's still going to crit more often than your average Hydra. And then also on top of that, you've got a 45% crit damage on top of that as well. You've also got damage on there, which I said that's the main stat for me. Um, everyone's different. I looked at why sushi's guide uh, which i will link down below which i do on most of my videos i think i've done it on every single one this week but you know he said that the most uh, the, the top stat for how the weapon feels would be something like damage and i think that this this actually is a is absolutely correct so if you look on this one 20 percent damage is absolutely fantastic and then this one 10 percent weapon damage energy which is a huge one as well so energy damage is massive so a1 get this money looked at the dragon's roar on his video uh, now my dragon's roar is nowhere near as good as what his was but i'll tell you why this one's okay and why i've leveled it up it's because i've got the 10 percent damage on there as well uh, i've also got the crit damage on there now i haven't got the crit chance which i would have liked instead of rate of fire that would have been fantastic but you know i've got the crit damage on there to afflicted targets now that's why that's important because and it also does 22.5 damage percent uh, percent damage to afflicted targets but the good thing about the dragon's roar is it, it adds affliction anyway so if you look at this semi-automatic a rifle with a modest rate of fire and a capacity that penetrates numerous enemies and sets them on fire fire damage is effective against nature enemies but weak against water enemies so these two little stats here are massively helpful and actually get boosted by the weapon's natural, uh, by the, the natural perk that comes with the weapon. Okay, so let's have a look at these three pistols I've got. I've got three pistols that are exactly the same. I've got the Krypton pistols and I've got three of them here. So which one's actually the better one based on the stats that we've got? So I need to tidy all this up actually. I've got loads of duplicates as you can see in here. But let's just look at the Krypton pistol. So this one here, we've got 15% damage to afflicted. We've got, which we said is decent, you know, that's a decent uh, perk to have. It's got a 25% reload speed. It's got 15% damage, another great stat. And then it's also got a 10% damage causes affliction damage for six seconds. So at level 20, this weapon actually causes the affliction and I get 15% damage to afflicted targets. So we're looking there at level, the level 20 perk and the level five perk, which actually do great as a combo there. Uh, and also on top with the level 15 perk, which is the 15% damage, that makes that a decent weapon. That's one that I would potentially, if it's the only one I had, I would definitely look towards leveling that one up. Now this one, the second one, this one's got 25% magazine size. It's got 67.5% crit damage, which is great. 15% damage, which is great. And then 90% crit damage. So the crit damage on that one is massive. The only issue I've got with that one is it doesn't actually have any crit chance on it. So it's okay, but it's if I land the crit. And I, I saw somewhere on Reddit, someone put that every headshot counts as a crit. And that's not actually true. Um, I was talking to people in the actual Fortnite Discord, and that's not how it works at all. I need to look more into that, how it does work. But the crit chance isn't just based on headshots. And then this one as well, this one's got, this is the third gun, this has got two lots of crit damage there, do you know, so we've got, what, 90% crit damage at level 10, we've also got a 21% fire rate, 
and then you get 30% weapon damage when aiming down the sights, which I think that's pretty cool. I don't see many of them. I don't know if that's a new perk or what, which I think that was pretty cool. Don't think that would work too well on a pistol. Uh, and again, it depends how good a shot you are and how quick you can get that. But, you know, they're okay. But the issue that I've got with that one is I haven't got the crit um, chance on there, which again makes kind of that crit damage not redundant, but a much, much less effective. Now, if you look at the bottom in the italics down there, it says neon, uh, pistol neon, shoots energized rounds at a rapid rate of high sustained damage, deals energy damage, with fairly, which is fairly effective against all types of elementals. So it has got the energy damage on there, which is great. You know, that's that comes with the territory. But for me, it's this one that I would keep. So I'd probably collection book one of them and I'll recycle the other one. So that's probably how I would go with those three weapons. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you is this one, the bear. A lot of people see me using the bear. Now, these rolls are not good. You know, there's not, they're not great on the bear. But the reason I use it at the moment is because the knockback on the bear is absolutely fantastic. So, if you look on here, shotgun pump action it deals high damage and knockback at a moderate rate of fire. Short range and limited magazine size. Well, I kind of counter that because it's got the magazine size on it. You know, so I've got 50% magazine size there and I've got 38 magazine size there, which actually stacks as well, I believe. So that actually means that I've got a huge magazine size on this one. The reload speed's quick on it and the rate of fire, all right, that doesn't really affect it, but the rate of fire is decent as well. So the bear for me, just because of the rolls and the situation of that weapon has actually helped. So sometimes the situation of the weapon can actually help you and is absolutely key. Okay, so the Fortville Slugger, it's not one that I use very often, but just looking at decent rolls on there, uh, durability is not something that I'm overly bothered about. You know, if you've got the match, you can just craft another weapon if one breaks anyway. So durability is not really an issue, I don't think. I don't know what it's like when you get to the, uh, you know, to twine and stuff like that, but right now, that's just something that doesn't really affect me. But the reason this one's got really good rolls on it, and the reason I've not got rid of it, even though I don't really use the Slugger, is that it's got a 21% crit chance, if you look on there, and then it's got two lots of crit damage on there, which are massive, and then it's also got a damage perk on there. So as the rolls go, that's pretty good. You know, they're, they're decent rolls. It's a simple baseball bat uh, with a fast swing, but low damage and knockback. Well, that's countered by the damage that I've actually got on there, or slightly countered. A heavy attack focused on impact and knockback that will send enemies flying. So if, again, if I'm in a, you know, if I'm stuck or I'm using a ninja and I need to get out of a situation, sometimes it's, you know, it might be good to have that in the third slot or second slot just to kind of clear enemies away from me so that I can get back to what I was doing. Okay, so this is another one as well. So if you look on here, this is the dragon fire. So we've got crit, we've got damage, which is great. We said that was one of the top ones on there. Uh, it also causes affliction. You know, so if you get it to level 25, if you get out of the area that I'm in, so if you if you level that up to level three, then what you can actually get is this damage causes affliction, and then I've got crit damage to uh, afflicted targets, I've got crit chance and crit damage. So overall, as a shotgun, they're fantastic rolls, really. A slower firing automatic shotgun that deals fire in a wide but short range. Fire damage is effective against nature enemies, but weak against water enemies. So overall, as a gun, you know, again, it's not the best weapon that's in Fortnite, but that is a very decent weapon, and these are the kind of things you need to to look out for so the helium shotgun then if you look at this one this is quite decent as well i've got 14 percent crit chance on there i would have loved to have crit damage with it that would have been even better but you've also got 10 percent damage 15 percent damage and 20 percent damage and i believe that all stacks together as well and it fires piercing energy slugs that deal high damage at a moderate rate of fire short range and limited magazine size deals energy damage which is fairly effective against all types of elementals always make a look at this just because it doesn't say energy damage up in the top doesn't mean the weapon's not got it okay then unless off as well your uncommon weapons are going to have two perks on them your rare weapons are going to have three perks on them epics are going to have four and legendaries are going to have five so if you look at a legendary for example if we look at the sniper uh, and we look at that on there look that one's got five so that one's got five perks on there as well headshot damage on a sniper rifle this one's absolutely amazing but if you look at another one do you know so if we go down to a, a blue weapon for example so we look at this one because it's a rare it's only got three perks on there as well all right then guys, so that's everything what you need to know as a new player. So really, you know, um, as you get further into the game, you're going to know things like uh, weapons that have got causes affliction with affliction damage are going to help your headshot percentage are good, knockback on shotguns. But the main things to look at, as I said, damage, energy damage, crit chance with crit damage if you can get it, and also any other elemental damage that you can get on there as well. If you keep that as a kind of rule of thumb as a newer player, then you'll do okay. And as I said in the comments below, let me know what your favorite weapon is, and I would love to see it. If you're in the Discord, obviously, post a picture of it that would be even better so we can all have a look at it there but i get a lot of people in discord asking do you know what's a good weapon and what's a not a good weapon so hopefully i'm hoping this will help you guys out so if you're not part of the latana army already guys make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video take care